Welcome to Math Workshop. Today, we will add a pair of two-digit numbers. Let's get started. Here is a problem, and I first want you to think, how would you find the total? Stop and think, what would you do first? The problem is 24 plus 13. I heard some of you say that you would add the tens. Yes, let's try that. We're going to put the tens together and then the ones. We are now working with two digit numbers. That means that our numbers are getting bigger and we need to have a strategy to make sure that we follow steps and don't get confused when adding bigger numbers. So let's put the two tens together and add the 10 from the 13. So I'm going to move this one over. And now we have 34. What do we need to do next? Yes, then we add the three that are left. Now we have 34 plus three equals 37. Today, we are going to be adding the tens first and then the ones to solve two digit addition problems. Let's go back to the first question. What is the easiest way to solve this problem? Some of you might have thought of adding the ones place. But if we add the tens place first, it will make it much easier. I love the way we are combining the tens with tens and the ones with ones and keeping those separate. So if I move the 10 here, this number now becomes 34 plus 3 equals 37. Another way to show our thinking is by using a number bond. We're going to write the problem again. 24 plus 13 equals, stop and think what was the first thing that we did. We added the 10. To show that, I'm going to draw a number bond to break apart the 13, just like we did here. First we have the 13, and then we broke it apart and added the tens. So one part became 10, and the other part that was left over was three. Now we are going to add the 10 just like we did with our manipulatives. In the classroom, we did a little butterfly wing to help us remember what are the numbers that we are adding. 24 plus 10 equals, good job, 34. Are we done? No, we are not. We still have to add the ones, good job. We must bring down the sentence, remember? Bring it down, bring it down. and add the ones. How many ones do we have left over to add? Yes, three equals 37. Let's read our number sentences. 24 plus 10 equals 34. 34 plus three equals 37. We are using our expertise on adding tens by adding the tens first and then the ones. Stop and think about the steps that we've done so far. First, we broke apart the smaller number, which was 13 in our case. We added our tens first. That's how we got 20, 34. And then we added the ones that were left over. 
Let's try a new problem for more practice. Our new problem is 24 plus 16. Stop and think, what is the first thing that you have to do in order to solve this problem? Yes, we need to make sure that we start by adding tens first. So I'm going to add the 10 to this side. My new total of tens is 34. What is my next step? Yes, now I'm going to add the ones. Plus 6 equals... Now your brain might tell you the answer right away. If that happens, good job. If not, we could always count on 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Good. Now, let's use our number sentences to explain what we did. Let's start with our first number sentence, 24 plus 16. And we're going to break apart the smaller number or the bigger number? The smaller number. Just like we did here. The smaller number when broken apart becomes a, yes, a 10 and a six. Remember, you can circle the two numbers that you're going to add the 10 to to remind yourself of what your first number sentence should be. 24 plus 10 equals, good, 34. And what do we do with the 34 now? Bring it down, bring it down, and add. Let's go ahead and bring down the 34. We've added the tens, now all that's left is to add the ones. How many ones do we have left over to add? Six. And we know that the answer is 40. Good job. Now, we are going to work on a problem set. I will show you how to do the first one, and then you will complete the rest by yourself. Solve using number bonds. Write the two sentences that show that you added the tens first, and then do a quick 10 and one drawing if that helps you. So we're lucky that they have already broken apart the smaller number for us. If it's helpful, you can have manipulatives next to you and build the number sentences, or you can also draw quick 10 drawings to help you. I'm going to draw quick 10 drawings so that my brain sees what's going on as well. The first number sentence is 14 plus 13. So the first thing that we need to do is add the tens. I'm going to circle these two. That is where our first number sentence comes from. 14 plus 10 equals 24. Now I know that we bring down the answer. 24 plus 3 equals 27. I can always check my answer by counting what I have in my quick tens. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Checks off, good to go to the next one. Now it's your turn, complete the rest of the problem set. 
And when you are done, don't forget to have your parents take a picture and send it to us.